This video is brought to you by Skillshare. More about them in just a minute. More beatbox, bitch! I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me. That's what she said. I checked out Beatbox, you guys were like, dope, but you gotta check out Loop Station. I checked out Loop Station, you guys were like, dope, but you gotta watch a full battle of Loop Station. So guess what we're doing today? By the way, SoSo has not sent me any merch or emailed me back. Not even a smiley face. Can I get a smiley face? If you're here for the first time, what's going on? My name is Joey Nato. That did her. I'm a rapper, music producer, a YouTuber. And my music sounds like this. This is my new song. Nato. Running out of time, wish this life was like a treadmill. Money is a life, but I still about my breast. Been dreaming all these nights, don't be telling me to get well. I think I'm better off playing deep out in that field. It's time for a loop station battle. I might be setting the bar a little bit too high. It's MB14 versus Sorrow, but I'm excited to see the entire process. I'm gonna look at it from a music production perspective. Lucky squad, never give up. Let's get into it. All right, this might be a learning process here. 2017. Okay. So right off the bat, I don't know. I don't even know how he made that crazy noise. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it. But he made it, and then really quick, he just turned down the release on the sound and just has like a short stabby sound to it. So now the sound has like very short release and uh, it has low attack too. So attack, a high attack would be meaning it takes a while for the sound to attack or get to full form, but he uh, shortened the attack on it. So it's just quick and little jabs. I'm not gonna do this for every sound he makes. I'm just saying. Ooh, a little sound to harmonize with it. Like this, all right. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. So that's a cool bass line he has going on with his drum pattern there. And you know, being a beatboxer, huge advantage. You have a huge advantage here because you get to beatbox the whole damn drum beat. You don't have to do one sound at a time or anything like that. It's almost like you have a loop within yourself, being able to just perform the whole drum beat and just have a loop over and over. It's pretty amazing. And you know, he has a super subby bass line here, which really complements the high instruments he was doing before the and all that. So you got low and high sounds. Drums are right in the middle. Hey. This is cool seeing like everything all quiet at first and everybody's just anticipating. And he's making the volume fade in with the vocal by, you know, bringing the mic closer and closer to his mouth. So that's how you have a lot of volume control there. Oh, and he turned the vocal into a stab on the harmony, almost giving it like a jazzy feel. Bop, bop. I can't do all the notes stacked up in one singing. He's got a little falsetto ability. That seems like it hurts, bro. Just tapping on your throat like that, I'd be afraid of tripping up. Like, <laughs> then you got a looped up. <laughs> This is a dope, like, post melody to that hook or whatever he was doing there. So he's like making a full out song. It's got more of an RB feel than I would expect in a battle like this. Ooh, the. So he's harmonizing. He's got R&B in his bones. Oh, he's reversing it. 
stuttering it a little bit. Reverse in the bass. <laughs> that was like full out R&B. He's cheating. What we got? Metronome? It's not a metronome. Okay, so this is very different. So MB14 did his drums all in one go. Just turned it into a loop by performing it all at once. Saro is doing everything separately with his drum sound. So it's gonna give him more control over these sounds. And he can do more versatility with it, right? I missed how he made that first sound, the duh, duh. Little percussion in between. Damn, he modified the hell out of that voice. He's stuttering so perfectly and the articulation is like so on point that it almost sounds like the machine is stuttering his voice, but I think that's his natural voice right there. Doing that, na 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 Like I think he's controlling it right to be able to do that. Man, when that like vocoder effect came in, that metallic-y, robotic-y effect that they put on the voice, the wham, wham, that's what took it up to the next level. Ooh, more harmonizing. They're both taking kind of a melodic approach. Sounds like a theme song for a show. So the only thing... Ooh, the bass. Dope bass line. They both can sing. He's got the four to the floor with the kicks. Boom, 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 boom. I feel like this is definitely inspired by, you know, like, doo-wop. That, 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 that's exactly what this is inspired by for this right here. It's almost like EDM meets doo-wop meets beatboxing. All three of them hanging out. Rub a dub dub, three men in a tub. Ooh. Chopping the harmonies. Judges are like, all right, where this go? Where's this going? Even the water's shaking. Oh, okay, it's like that. Sustaining for the last bar. The open hats. Off the downbeats. That's just what gives it more of a bounce and a fist pumping type feel. Bro, the things you can do with that machine. I love the doo-wop feel that he put into this. That's hard. So the way I'm looking at it is this is just the first round, right? So you don't bring your best to the first round. What do they got in their arsenal? I hope YouTube doesn't uh, demonetize me for going like this. 
It could have been a toothbrush. It could have been a lot of things, okay? My boy got the face expressions a lot. Before we continue, we got to thank the sponsor for this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for anyone who loves learning and wants to explore their creativity and learn new skills. Do you have a specific skill that you've been trying to learn? Skillshare is the perfect place to start. From photography to illustration to graphic design, freelancing, and more, you can find all the classes that you need here on Skillshare. And personally, I was excited when I heard about Skillshare and when I saw what it was all about. I love how they tell you how long each class takes so that way you know exactly how much time you're going to have to invest into a class. But every class is broken up into individual videos for the chapters for each class, which is super convenient. And you can rewatch a certain lesson as many times as you want so you never feel overwhelmed. And me personally, I just love learning new skills here and there, whether it has to do with Photoshop or video editing or something music related. It checks all the boxes for me. Just recently, I took a class called Beatboxing 101. And the class is instructed by Richie Haran and Donnie. And this class makes it feel like you're really sitting by his computer one-on-one -on -one practicing beatbox skills at a beginner pace. I quickly gained a bigger appreciation for beatboxers because of how much technique he describes as necessary, but he explains how to do things in a very simple manner, which is very important for people like me that, you know, need a second or two to catch on to what's going on. He even breaks up his chapters into all individual sounds that you make in fundamental beatboxing, meaning one chapter is kicks, one is snares, and so on. And the whole class took just over half an hour to start developing this new skill. Just like that. And now I'm the greatest beatboxer of all time. Well, at least I'm better at it. And another beautiful thing about Skillshare, not to be a hypocrite here, but uh, there's no ads. Now, if you're looking to learn a new skill or explore your creativity, I got good news for you. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description and in the pinned comment will get one month free trial of Skillshare. So that way you can begin your journey and just start exploring your creativity today. Also for the record, the entire catalog on Skillshare now has subtitles with Spanish, German, French, and Portuguese. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. Alright, this beatboxing is almost like... And you see almost with the way... You see he's doing that? It's like he's holding a drumstick. My guy's giving the rock eyebrow right here. It's almost like he's holding a drumstick because he's trying to emulate a, a, a drummer basically going ham with the... Psh, psh, like that's the cymbals and all that stuff, so... That's cool. Oh, this is a slow one. Boom. Two. Three. One. It's almost like a halftime. Yeah. All right, now we're on chat. Oh, these drums. Oh, the little mouth clicks in there. The mouth clicks are crazy, man. It's almost like three fourths time on top of four four. Like it's got swing to it. Da, 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 da. Ooh, this is the grittiest bass line we got so far. Dum, 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 dum. All right. Distortion. Now we're talking. Okay. Interesting vocal choice here. Where are we going with it? Is this a cover? I feel like people know this song. I think I hear people singing hello. No transition. No. Boom bat. Okay. He has strong bass lines. That seems to be like a strength with him. I was gonna kill sorrow, but then I got high. <laughs> I was gonna get off Bruh. my loop, but then I got high. We're going with Afro man. But my loops are still messed up, and I know why. I mean, the Afro Man original version is literally a bass line, drum beat, and a vocal. So he recreated the whole, literally the whole thing here. It's in a different key, though. The way he's doing it. My loops are still messed up, and I know why. Yeah, because I got high. Because I got high. Good vocals. Because I got high. Wow. 
Where are we going now? So he took a medley approach. He's doing a medley of songs. I don't get the control, man. Oh my god, what is this? Who are you? Yo, time. Hard. That, to me, didn't top what Sorrow did, though, that first round. It didn't top what MB14 did himself the first round. Oh, so rapid. These 64th notes. So I'm guessing on the machine you could take a sound and you could almost choose you you choose a tempo ahead of time and then when you put in a sound there's like little uh, uh settings to make it go in certain patterns so you could make it go in 16th notes which would be like t -t 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 -t. you can make it go in eighth notes which is t -t 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 -t. 64th notes obviously it's faster like really fast so i'm guessing that's what he's doing there but he, he made the volume like dip down too they were like like I, I can't do it i can't do it basically every time the note hits it just starts getting lower and lower in volume and it's almost like a little fader attached to it Oh, that sounds like a hard synth right there. Bouncing off, okay. That bass line with the pitch bend. Mm. Woo! How's he doing? These type of videos just make you want to try to learn how to do this. And he's got a little bit like of a modulator naturally on it. Ooh, harmonies. He loves his harmonies. Okay. Hey, somebody assisted him with that whistle. The phaser, that's a phaser on the voice. Wow, wow. Giving it that swirly type sound. That's a phaser. Oh, they're loving this. I have no idea where the bubbly noise came from. <laughs> How did he do that? Oh, boy. Damn, the crowd is ready. They were ready to clap along. Has anyone ever gotten booed in one of these? I'm probably not a grand beatbox battle, right? Because these are the best of the best. Uh, <laughs> That, that is pretty heartwarming to see uh, his competition, MB14, right there, getting hyped right along with him, like almost encouraging him like a friend, like making a beat by his side, you know what I mean? But what I was going to say, man, that quarter of a beat delay that he did right there to delay the beat drop, because usually it would happen right on the downbeat of a measure, but he skipped it just a little bit, and waiting that tiny little bit for the delay just made the, the drop hit even harder. That was, that was pretty genius. Like MB14 was wait, ready for it. Oh, and it's an octave lower. Then it goes an octave higher for the drop. Instead of... And he reprises the bass line that he put in that is the dominant part of this beat. Nice. Crazy. Must be an adrenaline rush to be up there, man. If you're if you're good. It must suck if you're not good. <laughs> Brings in the harmony back in. The judges are like, well, this is a lock. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, so he's got some effect making that bubbly noise. <laughs> he's almost looking at him like, yo, I can't believe I did that. So I wonder how premeditated these melodies and beat ideas are before going in. Some of it is probably improvised. But I'm guessing these beatboxers have an idea of what direction they want to go in with their beats ahead of time. You kind of have to, right? You only got three minutes. Amazing. All right, winner's decision. We know who it's going to be. In three. Make some noise for Sorrow. Well deserved. Well deserved. You're both dope. I need more. I need more. Tell me which uh, loop station battle or beatbox battle. Tell me which specific battles I need to watch next. I I'll take a break from the top 10 drops for a little bit. Drops. I don't usually re-mention sponsors and videos, but it is that sponsor. If you did skip it, it was about learning how to beatbox. So you might want to check it out. Appreciate you guys watching. Catch you in the next one. Not a running out of time, which this life was like a treadmill. Money isn't life, but I still about my breast. Been dreaming all these nights. Don't be telling me to get well.